welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 3. Now, where we left off, we literally had to make sure that whatever happened so possible, Hifumi could at least figure out a way to convince Lady Yu away from this situation, because I, I pretty much give up at this point. I'm only hoping for bad endings at this point, because at this very moment, they're just literally going to curse me, so... It is what it is. So, let's get straight into it. Oh, Hiroki. Oh. No. No, wait a minute. I didn't actually know that this was... Uh. Um. Um. Okay. Something tells me this is Lady Yu going a little insane. Huh? I was awoken from a dream short after a short while by a strange, deepened sensation. I can feel something pecking on my lips, the smell of perfume elope, envelopes me, sorry, and something silken bruises my, bruises, brushes my skin, excuse me. What? Groggy and disoriented, I force my eyes open. Then I gasp. Oh, for fuck's sake, I knew it was her! Another pair of eyes are boring into mine. They are very soft, pale, blue, like powdered snow, fringed with dark eyelashes. I am not alone, there's somebody else with me. And they're kissing me! Oh, Hideki, it's not that you're finally awake. The mysterious kisser draws back a smug smile upon her face. She brushes a few strands of dark hair behind her pale shoulders with her gloved hands, and that's when everything clicked into place. This is my first girlfriend, Yuki. You. She's a succubus. She kidnapped me and brought me to the succubus realm. And now, hey, Hideki. Yu's voice is soft, sensatious purr, quite unlike the cool tone she used to address Marina earlier. Her pale eyes look a lot hotter than usual. They're a little lidded with arousal and her cheeks are flushed. It really has been a long time since the last, last we spoke. I can't believe you've fallen asleep at a time like this. I have several duties to attend to, but now the day's business has been concluded, I would like to enjoy myself. It really is not fair to you to fall asleep when I need you so badly. Don't you want to be with me? Oh, of course I want to be with you, but... Shh. You presses her glowered index finger against my lips. Don't say anything that could spoil the moment. I missed you intensely, my dear Hideki. You are very, very valuable to me, and I wish to show you as much. I will show you my love over and over again until I year... You yearn for me as I do you. I won't let you leave me. From now on, you'll always be my, my side. I adore you. I open my mouth to retort, but you doesn't let me get a word in edgeways. She dips her head once more. Her hair trails against my neck and shoulders and press up into a hot, demanding kiss. I can feel her chest pressing up against mine. She's so close. I can smell the soup wet upon her skin. I still feel tired, but I find myself quivering in anticipation all the same. It feels good. But Hifumi's earlier warning rings through my head. You is dangerous. If I give too much of myself to her, she might never let me go. Should I give in to this? Damn it. The issue is that... <sighs> Fuck! <sighs> what choice do I fucking have? But at the same time... Just need to at least convince her. I'm sorry, but... Muster all my willing power I possess, I push you away from me. I don't know if I'm in the mood right now. What? You pale powder blue eyes flashes. She pouts. Are you sure I can't persuade you? Maybe later, but not right now. I'm too tired. Tired. Hmm? Hugh smiles. That sounds like some sort of excuse of a housewife. My, 
may continue years into an unfulfilling relationship. I certainly hope you don't reg regard me like that, Hinky. No, not at all. I really am tired. Really? You cups my cheeks in one hand and look at me. Her brows furrowed particularly. I wonder. I know these silly subjects have been whispering poisonous lies in your ears, haven't they? What? No. This has nothing to do with anything. If you say so, dear. You laughs. Oh, well, if you really are tired, I should not force myself upon you. I would never do that. I love you after all. Now, you should... I'm not giving in, bitch. She winds her legs through mine, her arms twist about the, my middle, and nuzzle her chin against my chest, or cheek against my chest, excuse me. I think I'll take this opportunity to rest. I am rather tired too. We will have plenty more opportunity to intimate in the future, but for now, however, I must wish you good night. Sweet dreams, Iriki. You press a kiss against my chest, or cheek, excuse me. <sighs> I hope you dream only of me. Sometimes I question that look that she just gave just then. Uh, it's still dark when I wake the following morning. The sky beyond the window is pitch black and the only light afforded in the bedchamber is that from the chandelier which is hanging from the ceiling. The hazy, idle thoughts that swim about inside the fishbowl of my head uh, are of a lackadaisical variety. I don't quite feel like myself. I can remember who I am, at least in how I got here, but n none of it feels real. It's almost as though my soul has split from my body and I'm regarding myself as a third party. It's strange to think that a few months prior, I didn't even know that Succubi existed. I was surpri incredibly surprised when Marina revealed the truth to me in her office. I even thought it might have been some sort of hallucination or, or else a magic trick. How could I have anticipated that my old girlfriend Yuki was a succubus too or that she would kidnap me and bring me here I don't even know where here is I'm aware that I'm in a succubus realm that must that much is apparent and unarguable but where does it exist in relations to the rest of the world does it reside to the same plain existence as Tokyo, or is it separate from the world as I know it? Nestle inside its own dimension. If that's the case, that does mean one wonder how the science of it work all works. Excuse me. Fortunately, I'm ignorant enough in ways of science not to ponder this for too long. If I were a genius like Albert Einstein, I'm sure the existence of this succubus realm would leave me scratching my head. But I'm trying not to think about it too deeply for now. I don't think I'm really capable of deep thought at the moment anyway. I'm not sure how long I've slept, but my brain is slow and sluggish and my body feels weak. I feel so out of it. It takes me a few moments to register this sleeping presence lying beside me. I'm not gonna lie, she actually definitely looks cute. She definitely does. Use arms are raised, her dark hair strained across the pillows, and there's a soft, contented smile upon her pretty face. She must have kicked the bed covers off while she was dozing off. I wonder if she's a restless sleeper because her torso is exposed. Her skin is soft. Skin looks soft and silky beneath the light of the chandelier. She really does look beautiful. I can't hardly believe that she's so interested in me. It feels something from a dream. But this dream of mine will fast become a nightmare. 
If I'm unable to figure out how to escape from this place, it's not as though I dislike you. Me neither. That's not even the case at all. <sighs> not sure I could. And it's not just because of how cute she looks when she's asleep, though. This is part of the reason. It's clear that she does care about me. She m makes fond feelings more than a parent. I just don't think I have the heart to spun her. But I don't want to stay by her side for the rest of my life either. I like to return to Tokyo if I can. This, that's where I belong, not here. I wonder if Fumi were able to talk to her around if we discussed yesterday. She might be the only person who convinced you to let me go. For now, I put my faith in her, who knows. Maybe things will plan out? I just need to have hope. Ah, sounds like somebody's at the door. Who could it be? Excuse me, Lady Yu. Is now a good time? N what? Shit. I didn't tell her to literally do it when I'm in here. Are you fucking serious? Yu yawns. Her eyelashes flutter open, flicker open, revealing her pale, icy arises. Yawning, she sits up and glances at the door. Hafumi, is that you? Yes, indeed. I come for your breakfast, Lady Yu. I made it myself in a traditional Japanese style. Three white, there's white rice, miso soup, pickles, and some grilled fish. I put it to your liking. That sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. All right, Hafumi, you can come in. Thank you very much, my lady. The door opens with a creak and Hafumi enters, balancing a tray with one hand. She shuts the door behind her and then approaches the bed where you and I sit. Her tail swishes all the while. Smiling sincerely, she then rests the tray down upon the bed. There you are, my lady. Please enjoy. I always do. Your cooking is so delicious, Hafumi. Although, uh, you peers the tray curiously, one hand beneath the chin. Hafumi must have been pretty busy in the palace kitchen whatever they are, because the tray is practically groaning with food. There's a, there's a veritable mountain of soft, fluffy white rice piled into that cinematic bowl, and she grilled five whole fish. It seems like quite a bit more un than unusual. I'm not sure if I'm able to eat it all. You should know that I have a del delicate appetite. I am well aware of uh, my lady. I just thought that it would g given you have a guest. Have Fumi glance at me. I sh make more food than I generally do. That I'm, then he might have some as well. You would not want Hideki to go hungry, would you? Oh no, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Forgive me for being so careless, Hideki. It's been a while since I last interacted with a human and I forgot that you need such Sustenance, just as we do, human males in particular. I am truly sorry. It's fine, you. I don't worry about it. I offer you for what I hope is a confirm, comforting smile. Hifumi has had enough food for the both of us, so it's not like I'll starve. Indeed, she did. It was very thoughtful of her. Hifumi is always the kind in constituous woman. Her advice has helped me greatly when it comes to the governing of my people. She's always like a mother to me. A mother? I do like uh, quite a idea a lot, but really? She giggles. I am not much, that much older than you, Lady Yu. I would not mind having it under my own someday. That, that I might not dot on. Then you and I are not far apart in age. If you must refer to me as a member of the family, I would far rather regard you as a, your big sister. Why? You smirks thinly. Are you afraid that I, that I put Hickey off if I comment on how, how advanced in years you really are? Goodness me. Fumi's cheeks turn a soft shade of pink. You really are being off willful today, m'lady. Is that a way to address me after I took the effort to make you such a delicious breakfast? I'm surprised to hear Fumi talk down to you like that. I'm sure if Marina said these words to that effort, she 
she'd be pushed to the floor and ground beneath the heels of Yu's foot. Yu doesn't seem to mind being scolded by Hifumi, though her expression doesn't falter. Instead, she smiles sheepishly. I guess you're right. I'm sorry, Hifumi. I've been working hard lately, and I suppose I'm somewhat tired. You poor thing. You've always been so busy. Yes, indeed. But fortunately, I have my lovely Hariki to suit. For me, with this, I wonder if she's upset. Facial expression, excuse me. Her facial features soon rearrange themselves, however, in a smile. That's getting well, my lady. I'm very happy for you. You're not jealous? Not at all. And I'm pleased for you. You must be glad that you'll be able to reunite with Hideki after so many years. He's quite the catch, is he not? He is indeed. You pout. She shifts over to me. Disrupted the breakfast ah, disrupted the breakfast tray and wins an arm about mine in the same manner Cosmos so often does, and he is mine. I won't have you gawking at him, Afumi, no matter how much I like you. You've had your fun, now it's my turn. Of course, my lady. Afumi bows her head. I wouldn't presume to try or steal your beloved from you when it's apparent how much he cares how much you care for him. I may be older than you, but I'm not a she, a, sorry, a shiming vixen. Good. I knew I could trust you. You're not at all like Marina. Use grip on my arm reflexes. Reassured now that you won't try to stick me out of your, from under her nose, you turn your attention to the breakfast tray. Well then, I suppose I ought to eat something. I need to replenish my energy. I have been so awfully busy as of late. There's always something for me to do. It almost makes me miss my student days. Do you enjoy being a student? I didn't at first. I thought my lessons quite dull and tedious, and I didn't care for any of my classmates. They could, you, they could tell that I suddenly, I was suddenly different. But they all kept their distance. I was, it was a bit lonely. But then I met you. You smiles at me. I appreciate your company a good deal. You brighten up my time sp in Tokyo considerably. It is because of you I that I've learned to tolerate humans. I had fun going on dates with you and learning more about the human society. We went on a lot of places and did so many good things. I was so young and carefree back then. Now it's my duty to remain here in Succubus Realm, whereas it's always dark, the sun doesn't shine as it does in Tokyo, and there's any there aren't any cafes or amusement parks. It is quite dreary. Sometimes I wish I didn't have have quite so many responsibilities. But my burden was would be lessened. I think with your company, being with you is like a salve that heals my heart. Now, you scoops a Spoonful of Afumi's watering miso soup and then brings it to my lips. Will you, will you let me feed you, darling? I'm perfectly capable of feeding myself, but I oblige. I let you spoonfuls of. Sorry. I let you spoon mouthfuls of soup and muzzle of fish to my lips while Afumi watches. If Afumi is jealous of our closeness, and I rather suspect it despite her protest that she is, she doesn't let in. Her bro uh, her brow doesn't wrinkle. Instead, she smiles pleasantly, um, her place folding together at her front. She really is a wonderful actress. I've never seen anybody better at hiding their emotions. It's impressive, but it's kind of sad, too. I feel sorry for you. Blessed to stay in Succubus realm and rule her subjects, but I feel sorry for, for me, too. Can't be easy watching the woman who you love to be pampered by another woman. Then again, didn't you have to bear witness to dozens upon dozens of events like this? She must have been observing me in the succubus realm quite for quite some time. Did it break her heart to see me flirting with Afumi and resting my head upon her lap? Hmm, that was delicious. You finished the last bit of, of her breakfast and then sits down on her chopsticks. Thank you, Afumi. Your cook seems to get better and better every time I see you. You're very welcome. Nothing makes me happier when 
than watching people eat my food. <laughs> Uh, I trust you enjoyed it as well, Eriki? Oh, yes, that was great. Your fish was exposed to good. I love the miso soup. I am relieved. The Fumi beams. Um, I do most of my cooking in the human world now. In my apartment, I re I'm rather more accustomed to my own kitchen than the one here. But I feared I m might have made a mistake. I'm glad everything went well. Now, if Fumi casts eyes over you, she's wearing nothing but her underwear. Would you let me do... Help you with your clothes, my lady. If you like, that would be most appreciated. All right, then stand up, and I will pamper you. You obey Fumi's command in a surprisingly obedient manner, like a child might. Though Hafumi protests when you said that she's like her mother, there is something motherly about her. Watching her dot on you is kind of sweet. Ah. <laughs> uh, that right there is a good sight to see. Fumi wraps Yu's clothes about her shoulders, smiling all the while. Yu shivers where the fur of her cape touches her exposed skin, but she doesn't shrink and shy away from Hafumi's fingers. She looks completely at ease. Her, this early morning ritual is one which must have occurred numerous times between these two women. I can see, based by her relaxed posture, how deeply you trust Hifumi. Yu's relationship with Hifumi is the polar opposite of her relationship with Marina. She seems to regard Hifumi very highly, but I can't see as much of as a flicker of animosity in her eyes. I think I can understand Hifumi's a sweet, unassuring woman. It's hard for anybody to dislike her. That particular that's particularly why she's such an enduring popular actress for so many years. By the way, my lady, I was thinking. Hmm. Hifumi shoots oh sorry. You shoots Hifumi as a, a sidelong point. What is it, Hifumi? I couldn't help but recall your talk you gave me yesterday about you summoning me to the succubus realm. Oh, that. You frowns. Please don't take it personally. You know I dislike scolding you. I am upset at times, I will admit, but if you have seen the arrows of your ways, you needn't, you needn't dwell upon it. One apology is more than enough to satisfy me. I know we all make mistakes. Thank you, my lady. You are very gracious. You are very gracious. Hugh me bows her head. I am sure. Dis I am sure you are speak. I am speaking on behalf of all the succubi, Marina included, when I'm saying that we did not. Know how much you adore Hiroki. Have we been aware of your intimate connection with him? I am sure we would have not pursued him. It is all right for me. I can forgive you and the others. <clears throat> Yu's expression hardens, but I cannot forgive Marina in a hurry. Not until she apologized to me herself with her own mouth. For once, for one of my underlings, she has an absolute awful attitude. She does not regard me with due respect. And her etiquette is shocking. I shan't can't sh I shan't let her off the hook. Even if you ask me for me, I despise her. <laughs> well, I thought you might say that. If me laughs. But my lady, while I know none of us has, have pursued a relationship with it. Uh, well, I know I know none of us have pers pursued a relationship with Hideki. Have we well known the bond with him? The fact remains that we still did. Hideki has become a special person to all of us, myself included. I wish I could ignore these feelings I have for him, but it's not that simple. Perhaps my heart is weak, but if that's the case, I beg your pardon. But it's, it is rare to find a man that I care about quite as much as he. I know that you and Cosmos you, Cosmos, and Marina felt the same way. As for Hazel, meanwhile, if and me personally lived together, I haven't had the chance to speak to her since arriving in the Succubus Realm, but I'm sure she is fond of him, too. We all like him a good deal, and we cannot stop liking him because you have because you have commanded us to. It would be nice if you 
if we can put a stop to our feelings as as simply as one can turn off a light switch. But that is not possible. I recognize things must be hard for you for me, but you have to try and live with it. Kiriki is mine, and you must learn to keep your distance. I know that is what you wish, my lady, but please hear me out. Marina and Ayu, Cosmos, Hazel, and I have been sh him for quite some time. We all love him equally, and he loves us. We, we have a few spots, but we were able to settle everything between us peacefully, as adults should. This arrangement is quite a pleasant one. You don't have any complaints with it, do you, Hiroki? Oh, no, not at all. You see? If him, he just he's ruffled around his shoulders. We will all be happy with the way things were, and so I was wondering if you, if you might not be happy with that, too. Like what? Use, uh, use eyes narrows with slits as her voice drops down into volumes. All of a sudden, she doesn't look look half so agreeable with what, as once she said, of course. You aren't telling me to share my hideki with the rest of you, are you? I thought it would be a possibility, my lady. It would be making us all happy. We love him, and it would be unfair to keep him trapped in the succubus realm against his will, sure. He isn't trapped against his will. He loves me. I'm sure he does, but... There's no but. I won't let you stay in my room and insult me, Hifumi. I thought you were supposed to be my ally. I am your ally, Mu. I never meant any offense. I just... Then maybe you should have any, said anything. Yu jerks away from Hifumi suddenly, her eyes blazing. She's fully dressed down and she looks infuriated, her tail swinging indignantly, and her tall horn must look more imposing than ever before. Gone is sweet to oblige you, who praised Hifumi's cooking and fed me while I'm in bed. She is transformed into a cold-hearted succubus queen that dispaced, dispaced Marina in the throne room, my bad. The full blunt of her anger isn't even directed at me, but I can feel my blood running cold all the time. This little wonder Hifumi looks so pale. How dare you try to tell me what to do? You may be my advisor, but I am your queen, and you do not have the power over me. If I want to keep Hideki to myself, then, then I may. You have no right to butt in. My love of my life is none of your concern, but this isn't just about you, milady. Marina looks anxious, but she doesn't back down. She tries to argue on my, my behalf, though she is trembling all the while. This is about Hiroki too. You need to stop and think about what he wants. This might be my, my own vanity speaking, but I believe he's happy. He'll be happy. He was happy with the five of us. After all, all we've gone through together, it would be cruel to be part, to part us, and it really isn't right, right to keep him here. I am the one who will decide what is right and what is not. Thank you. You puffs out her impressive cheek, impressive chest. Excuse me. Her hands on her lips. He might not want to stay here right now, but he will. He'll spend more time together and I'll lavish attention on him. Then he'll realize how much he has missed me. He'll be glad to leave the human world behind as I did, so he can stay with me. In fact, I'm sure he'll think of me for it. He loves me so much, much, much more than he'll ever love you. So stop trying to spoil everything. I'm not trying to spoil anything, my lady. I am merely trying to make me doubt myself. You raises one brow. Well, I don't, I won't have it. If Hideki were any other human, I would have let him go without delay, but he is special to me. Yu's voice, which is once self-righteous and now falters, she looks down onto the floor, her eyes half lit it in size. Perhaps it may appear I was being, I am being unreasonable, but my judgment is perfectly sound. I am only doing this because I love him. How could that be bad? Love is good, pure emotion. It's not something that can be abashed nor second guessed. Are you saying. Aren't you saying. Aren't you the one who told me that, Hifumi? I suppose I am. But, Princess, why don't we not ask, Hif ask Hideki if he wants to do that? Hifumi looks at me. 
Do you really want to stay here? Yes, Hideki. You tell them that meddling old woman, tell, tell her that you love me and you want to stay by my side forever. Well, I, I look between you and Hifumi quite at a loss. It's true enough that I want to spend my life with her, but I'm sure Yu's fe I'm, I'm sure I'd hurt Yu's feelings if I told her that. I love her once, still love her now, though my feelings have shifted somewhat as I grew older. She's not the exact same Yu as the Yuki I remember, but that should go without saying. Everything changes, but if I stay here, nothing will change. I'll be trapped. What should I say? <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't stay here. As much as it kills me, I can't stay here. It's you, I'm sorry, but however much I like you, I can't, I don't think I can stay here. This isn't where I belong. I had a life already and it's separate from yours. I had a job I'm pr proud of and a family. I can't abandon them. I don't want to be, ab I don't want to abandon Marina, a you, Cosmos, and a few me either. Can't you just let me go, please? Yu takes, in, takes a step back as though she has been slapped. Her eyes narrow and her body stiffens. For a few moments, I'm afraid she burst into tears. She might burst into tears. But then her expression hardens. You're just saying that because Afumi puts the ideas in your head. I'm sure I'll be able to talk to you, talk to you again soon enough. No! I'm just not saying that. I'm being earnest. I'm very confused. Confused and tired too? I don't think you even know what you're saying, Hiroki. You've lost your mind. Yeah, it's very clear that I'm done with this bitch. Um, we're going to transition from where she leaves the room. I I'm not fucking dealing with her. Nope. 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 After what I'm hearing right now, in the editing right now, after I realized it, I was busy reading, but I was also frustrated because I didn't want to literally say anything and interrupt the fucking story. So, I'm just gonna say this right now. It is very clear that she's gone clearly fucking insane. She's lost her fucking mind. I'm gonna just skip on. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I Editor's head out. I, I can't. So saying, she exits the bedroom. The door falls shut behind her with a dull, heavy thud. This is just getting worse and worse. I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to the channel. Follow my Twitter. Follow my Instagram. Follow my Discord. Every single Discord server link is in the description. Please make sure to do that. Also, follow my Twitch. Uh, we are so close to 30 subs or 30 followers to be specific so make sure to go and follow my twitch and maybe you guys will be interested in that content over there as well but anyways it's been it guys later